Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is 82 degrees, which is miserable. I'm ready for winter again. But if winter came back, then I'd be ready for summer. So I guess I'll just have to get used to the heat. But this morning I went up to Polk's, which is a whole ordeal in itself. I drug home the 706 for parts, which is just a whole frustrating deal. So if you guys need parts off of that thing, um, shoot me an email. It'll be in the description below. And then the other day from Ted Everts, I got this Kubota tractor here. It was going really cheap, so I was like, why not? It's a good deal. Might as well bring it home. Had that loader on it. Um, lines were disconnected, and it sold as is. So I was like, I'll rip the loader off and put it on auction time. And I got the loader off, and then threw a battery in it and fired right up. So um, it'll probably still become a parts tractor. I'll probably still sell the loader on auction time just because it's a little rough around the edges and smokes a little bit. Uh, but right now I got it on Facebook for the package. If someone brings me what I'm asking for, it, then it'll leave. But if not, then I'll just knock it in the head and sell the loader separate. This is the plan. But um, let me hop back in here and turn Cody Johnson off. But um, I've been working on getting the 220 out of the barn. I thought it had regular top post batteries in it, but it did not. And I knew it was completely dead. So I tried to throw jumpers on it and it still wouldn't fire. So I'd remembered that the 8010 I parted had the screw on posts. I'm pretty sure the batteries are good. So I came home in my grandma's car to pick them up because my truck is out of diesel fuel. So another thing going not good today which that's on me i didn't stop at the gas station to get diesel because i was ready to be home figured i could make it back to a different gas station but i ain't gonna make it i'm at zero miles till empty and the closest gas station's 12 to 15 miles so i ain't gonna make it I ain't even gonna risk it um and then my one of my goose snacks is the battery is completely dead, which is also my fault because I didn't throw it on the charger. But for some reason, that thing goes dead. My other one doesn't go dead like that. So I'm not sure if it's not recharging or what, but it's completely dead over there, unhooked. So I'm trying to get the 8010 off my other trailer so I can drag it home and get it fixed and start using it again. Uh, but I got to get the 220 out of the barn before I can drag the 8010 off the trailer to put it in the barn because no one seems to be interested in that thing. So that means I ain't gonna be getting rid of it for now. But the 220 needs to go, so I need to get it out and uh, get it ready to sell. But I might have to mow first cutting hay with it because the 8050 is still tore down and I don't have plans to get to it for a few weeks because I'm too busy. So. Too much going on, not enough time to uh, get it all done. So I'm headed back over to the barn now to hopefully throw these batteries in the 220 and get it going, get it out of there. So I guess I will probably set you guys on the tripod, hopefully get that thing out of there and get the 8010 unloaded. Got the batteries in, finally. It took forever since it's got this jump cab on there. But hoping the batteries are good. And this thing fires up, crossing my fingers. Gonna give her a little store to ether, just because she ain't been running all winter. Hope we're getting going better, I hope. We will see. As long as I connect it, everything up, right? Well, she fired up way easier than I thought it was going to, which is good, very good. So now I just need to button up the rest of the cab, let it warm up a minute, and then I'll get it drug out of here. Try to get that 8010 in here, and then uh, 
back this back in for now until uh, I go to sell it. But I need to drag it home, give it a good power wash, and uh, just clean it up. And then if my 8050 is not done by hay season, then I might use this. Uh, unless it sells by then, then it can go bye-bye. But it's sounding good. I'm gonna put the regular stack back on it. I'm gonna keep that one. But uh, I just put that one on there because let more air flow through the exhaust. So I'm gonna get everything moved out of the way, button, by, button the cap back up, and then get it out of here. Alrighty, here we go. See if she still, still moves or not. It does have a good parking brake, so that's good. See if I can get it out of here without tearing everything up. Dang, this thing sounds good. Oh, hit a ladder. Oh, hit a mower net. Eh, we're good. get to work on getting that 8010 off of there and I'm uh try to get it in here my only issue is is I really can't push on that thing or else I'm gonna get into that grill and that grill is perfect so I'm gonna try to get it right there next to 7030 guess we'll see what happens if something goes bad then I'm done for today I'm going home and taking a nap because Nothing else needs to go bad today. So I will probably just do a time-lapse mode maybe and see if I can't get that done. Today's Bible verse is going to be coming out of Titus chapter 2 verses 11 through 13. And it says, For the grace of God has appeared with salvation for all people, instructing us to deny godliness and worldly lusts and to live in a sensible, righteous, and godly way in the present age while we wait for the blessed hope, and the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, I got it in there without tearing anything up, so that's good. I was hoping this hay bind would fit right there, but it don't look like it's going to fit. I'll have to move the 190. Now I'll stuff the hay bind in there and see how that looks. And then I'll back the 220 right next to the 8010 for tonight, because... We're talking storms, possible tornadoes. So I want to get it back inside underneath the roof. I would put it in the bottom barn, but this barn's in way better shape than the bottom barn. So for tonight, I'm back it back in here. And then uh, if I need room in here, I'll put it in the bottom barn. Uh, but for now, I'll go in here. So I guess I'm, yeah, just going to move the 190, get the hay bind in here. Try to get the 190 price sideways next to the hay bind. And then uh, 
be looking pretty good. So, the baler, yeah, I forgot. I filmed earlier, but I didn't like the video, so I'm filming again. Um, but yeah, I got the baler moved at the doorway so I can come over here and hook on and go because I haven't went through this thing yet at all. I've been working on my hay vine, which is still ain't done yet. So once it's done, I'll come grab the baler, check it all out, make sure it's all ready to go. Should be, but you never know. Uh, give it a good grease and get it ready for the season. So yeah, I'm going to get this all wrapped up and I'll catch you guys up in a bit. Just like that, I got it all moved around. The baler able to get to it easy and the 220 able to get to it easy as well. Um, so yeah, it's looking good. If only my 8050 was here, I'd throw it right next to it and look, it'd look really, really good. But it's all in the barn now, under the roof for tonight's storm, so that's good. Except for the 8050, it's outside, but oh well. But yeah, finally got the 8010 off the trailer after like a month of it sitting on there, so I'm glad that's off and all inside. And glad I was able to get the 220 going after I threw some new batteries in it. So, depending on what time it is, I might go do something else, 5.30. I probably still have time. Um, but yeah, I got a trailer emptied, skid loader on this one. Got that one plugged in so I can get the tail up and it'll be ready to go next time I use it. But this is the one I got to fix the wiring on. Um, and someone on my last YouTube video commented, your plug don't just blow out. Well, no, duh. The plug didn't blow out. The cord is it so long that it blew out and was rubbing on the ground. I tied it up with twine to get me home, but the wind blew this out, so it was dragging on the ground. So I'm not going to go and put a plug in the bed because I'm not going to keep this truck forever, so why throw more money into it when I'm just going to get rid of it? because the miles are racking up and it ain't gonna last forever. So the plug didn't blow out, the plug was in, the wiring blew out, and that's what drug on the ground. So just wanted to clear that up. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna steal my grandma's car again, go grab about five gallon of diesel for my truck. Hopefully that'll get me to the other barn to do what I need to do before the rain and get me home and back to the gas station. If not, I'll come steal my grandma's car again and go get more diesel. So I'm gonna set you guys down for now, go get all that done. And then if I get over to the other shed tonight, then I'll pick you guys back up and uh, get done what I need to get done. Made it to the gas station, got diesel for my truck, got a few miles out of it. So I made over here to the other barn and uh, my grandpa was talking about getting rid of two pieces that field cultivator over there and then this plow this plow i took to a plow day behind my 826 and it did a phenomenal job so here's gonna scrap it so we bought it off of him me and my dad and uh i came over to see how good a shape that cultivator was in see if i should buy it or not and uh might just go ahead and buy that too I can't get it out of this, it's too heavy, so I'll grab a tractor and drag it out of there. See what it's all about, but it looks pretty decent, so draw by it and set a hand on the scrap yard. So that's the plan. Rain's on the way, so see how much rain we get. Hopefully don't get hit by any tornadoes. And there we go, that was today's adventures. Got the plow. Put in the barn, field cultivator I didn't mess with today. I'll mess with another day uh, when Grandpa's out and about. See what he actually wants for it. See if it's worth my time or not. But uh, it's too good of a field cultivator. Just send it to the scrapyard. So if he if he wants more than I'm willing to pay, then I'll just put it for sale for him and get it sold for him. That'd be what I do. So. Yeah, 
yeah so the 220 if i ain't got my 80 50 done come first cutting which first cutting is going to be ready in a week or two just depends on the weather if it's going to be dry enough um but if my 80 50 is not done by then then i'm uh probably mow hay with the 220 i do have that 70 30 over there but It'd be a good video to pull a bind behind that 220 for you guys because i know you guys won't see that thing work so I'll, I'll keep it around till then um and then after that if i still need money which i probably will because the house expenses just keep adding up then i'll throw it on auction and get it out of here but yeah Overall, it was a pretty good day. I got a lot done, even though this morning was just frustration after frustration. It became a better day, so that's all that matters. So, I guess I'm going to end today's video off here. Once it's sunny again and not super windy like it's been, I'll try to pick up the camera again and get another video for you guys. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button for me. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And, if you want to help support the channel, Go on over to bruntworkwear.com and use code BOWMAN10 at checkout. All details will be in the description below. Um, you can help support me and grab you a pair of one of the comfiest boots on the market. So if you haven't already checked them out, make sure to go check them out. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.